Liquor Legend here, back at it again with a new product review. First off, I want to say happy gobble gobble to everyone out there. It is Thanksgiving, it is a beautiful 45 degrees, it is blue skies, it is a wonderful time for this type of holiday. We're getting ready to sit down to eat, have some great food, but of course, during Thanksgiving, you want some great drinks. Now, these products that I brought in, I brought in about three months ago. I seen them in a the department store. They're not really sold in liquor stores at all. I thought they were really interesting. They basically have a bottle, and they've got a powdered mix and some freeze-dried fruit in it. Um, you add whatever spirit it calls for, and it's got four different types of alcohols it uses with many different variations. It's got a vodka, tequila, gin, and rum ones. And again, there's different drinks. Like if you get the, the rum ones, there's like a Caribbean spice, there's a pina colada, there's tons of vodka ones, you know, tequila has the margarita and a couple other ones. And the gin one has some really interesting ones. Uh, today, I bought three of them. Now again, I looked at these and I said, they looked really interesting, but I've had people who tried them. They said, yeah, they had mixed reactions. They're not saying it's bad, but they asked me to, to try it out for myself and give my thoughts on what I think it is. Now, of course, I've already filled uh, these ones with the alcohol already, and I've actually had them full for a couple days, not really. I tried them a little bit just to get an idea, uh, but I'm really gonna try them now so you can really see. Um, so, obviously, I don't have one that hasn't been, um, that is unopened yet, but basically, they had a red powder mix. Um, this one is the, this one is the On The Beach. Now, this particular one, and you know, what's funny about these is I think they're great. Is they come with a little strainer, which is wonderful. Um, and then they come with the instructions. Now, very easy to make. Again, you just fill it with alcohol with this particular case. You fill it with vodka, let it sit three to six hours, and you're golden. Um, this particular one of On the Beach, I'm not worried about it, guys. So the ingredients included sugar, dried lemon slice, dried peach, dried cranberries, artificial flavors. Uh, my thoughts before I have ha had these was that one, when you're making cocktails, you do need chases, not chases, but you do need mixers in them to cut up the alcohol. You know, not many people are drinking straight booze. And the concept of this is a good concept, but I think the drinks may be a little strong. That's what I think. Well, that's what I think. I mean, I tried them very briefly, but we're going to really try it now. And I think the way they are, they can be really good. Um, but we can always do better with them. So, as I said, this one was the on the on the beach one. Um, so, got my little glass. Now, it does say to use a little strainer. So, let's just strain a little out. Because I don't don't think when you're doing these that you want to use the fruit basically freeze dried fruit if it's been there long enough the fruit's just going to be really tart and I don't you know to me if you wanted to replace the fruit you could but the whole concept of this was this was a drink that's ready to go once you add the booze so uh, the one thing I'll notice about these when I looked at them before they were done is is it looks like they use a dye so that way the drink has a really nice color uh, so, you know, drinks have appealing looks, uh, people tend to have appealing taste. Now again, because this is straight vodka, automatically I can smell the alcohol. And you, I do smell the fruit. Um, I am smelling the cranberries for sure in this one. Mm. Yeah, cranberries. I'm not really getting peach, but I am getting the lemon slice. I do. Yeah, I am getting that. Um, so, let's try it. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, as I thought, it is rather strong. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, but you're going to drink it like this. It's going to be a short night for you. Trust me. I mean, straight alcohol is going to be a short night. Um, you know, yeah. It's just a strong drink, and I, you know, obviously, you can pretty much do what you want with these. Um, I wouldn't necessarily want to change the fruit. However, if you did it up in this way, and then put it in a separate container with some fresh fruit, fresh lemons, fresh peaches. 
Not even the cranberry, because I think in this taste, the cranberry is overwhelming. You could add some fruit juice. And of course, I think what's important with this is you do technically have to add a little something. So let's add a little Sprite to it and see. Not a lot, just a little. Now obviously you're adding Sprite, so the color's going to change a little, but. Cranberries cut back a little, and now I'm getting like the citrus rind. So that's prevalent. And you know, the one thing I say about Sprite is when you mix it with a lot of cocktails, the lemon, lime, and Sprite will usually draw out some flavors. That's, you know, usually what you get from citrus. Yeah. So now, a little more palpable. Um, and I think, I think it's. Adding something like this, or if you want to cut out the sugar, you can add diet, diet soda. I wouldn't, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of adding diet soda to drinks because I think you get that diet taste to it. But if you wanted to cut the sugar out completely, yeah, you can use like club soda. It's just breaking up the alcohol a little. So, yeah, it's, it's not bad. And it kind of reminds me of this time of year. So, no, not bad. Out of five, or out of a grade of A to F, I'd probably give this a B plus. Yeah, I mean, the, the flavors work. But again, having it on its own, I think, is a dangerous proposition. I've heard people, some of my customers tell me they've had it on its own, and it was way too much for them. All right, so with that being said, let's try the second one. And of course, I don't want to go anywhere, so we're just going to watch it. Look, it's like we started brand new. <laughs> All right, so the next one we're going to try is the other one I bought for the same night, and I actually bought another one last night, the third one I bought just last night. So this next one is called the Bora Bora Paradise. Again, this is another vodka-based ones. I didn't really want to buy different alcohol ones. Usually you don't go to do good if you're going to mix alcohols, and considering I'm probably going to be drinking these the rest of the night. Probably not all of them because it's probably going to be a little overwhelming. But this particular one, obviously, we get a different color to it. Um, so the Bora Bora Paradise is sugar, of course, dried pineapple, dried lemon slice, dried bananas, dried mangoes, dried coconut flakes, ginger flakes, artificial flavors. Um, and it says contains coconut because some people have an allergic reaction to coconut. But, yeah, so this is probably going to be a little more tropical. So I think this first one... A little more toward the ho this type of holiday with that cranberry. Um, this one seems more like a summer one. You know, you're adding that pineapples, the bananas. Mm. No, actually, let's not forget because we don't really want the fruit. Yeah, off the bat, I mean, you can see little pieces of coconut. Looks like little pieces of banana. Again, it's a very, very cool concept, but practicality it's just a very very strong drink in my opinion and, and that's what I kind of thought when I first uh, saw these to begin with so again let's try it without it with the straight alcohol and just the dried stuff so this is definitely more tropical mm. I mean, you're getting, I actually smell melon, but maybe that's just my, my nose. But yeah, light, pleasant flavors. And again, that, that citrus rind is prevalent. It was, it's kind of in both of them. So maybe they added a little more citrus rind to both of these than the fruit. Maybe that's why I'm smelling it more, but definitely stands out more. Well, all right, let's try it without the juice out the drink yeah again it needs that pick-me-up it needs something to lighten it up it's not bad it's strong and I think that's where it it loses its thing so let's get our trusty Sprite just a little not a lot we don't want to overdo it we don't want the Sprite to be the only thing we taste. And of course, doing this, again, the color's gotten a lot lighter. 
uh, you can kind of see particles in there. So the basic of particles will still get through that little strainer. All right. Yeah. Um, I can definitely taste the banana. This one I'm not as thrilled about. But again, everybody has different flavors. I mean, it's it's okay. I've never had something called Bora Bora before. So I would have to have the real cocktail, cocktail and then in comparison, try it next to it to see how close it is. And again, I think making the actual cocktail is going to taste much different. You're going to have actual juices in there. So it's going to be good on its own, the way it's prepared. But offhand, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um... It's got some sweetness to it. I can taste the banana. I can taste the sweet fruit. So it's 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 it's, it's very good. Um, I gave the first one a B plus. This one I'm gonna give a B. Again, I like it. It's not horrible. Um, but I think the company did a good job. But always something to improve on. So let's get rid of this one. It's gonna be some drunk ass insects today. Or squirrels because if they see that fruit they're gonna be on it and I have drunk squirrels dropping off my goddamn trees good maybe they'll stay with my damn trash for the night all right yeah that one was the Bora Bora all right the last one is one, one I decided to buy um, and you notice this one has a little different look to the bottle um, so they had these spritzers so ironically do we call it spritzer because you think of bubbles but again all you're adding is vodka to this one um, and this was their peach spritzer. They got a berry one and they have an orange one. I'm a fan of peach. Um, and, you know, can kind of look. The bottle's a little different. The one thing I'll say is it. I kind of thought with all the stuff in the bottle, because the, if you looked at it, the, the sugars were kind of up to here with all the stuff. I figured it wouldn't have taken a whole bottle of vodka, but it actually did. It got really close if you did. I, I thought it was 500 milliliters. Um, but yeah, you, you're going to use an entire bottle of vodka to get in this. So maybe the bottles are a little bigger than what a 750 would be. Um, so this is Preach Spritzer. Paradise. Here we go. So again, handy little thing. This one came with a little different color one. Um, this one, sugar, dried peach, dried lemon slice. Basic. Simple. Dried peach, dried lemon slice. So I'm assuming if it's a peach spritzer that they decide to go a little heavier on the peach. <laughs> so cool, every single bottle has one of these. Um, one of the things I also have at the store is I have the tri-pack. I can only find the gin, but they have the smallest sizes of three different drinks of the gin-based one. I wish I could find the vodka ones, or even the tequila ones. The tequila ones actually sell pretty damn well. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it's definitely, that's definitely a lemon rind, a lot of peach. I'm not going to try it, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be too much. <laughs> All right, so this one, peach spritzer. Now, for a change, I definitely get more peach than I get of the citrus. Yeah, I mean, the all three of them give off a distinct, a distinct something. And it's tough to put my, yeah, see, with this one, it's almost like canned peaches. Now, I'm assuming they didn't use, they use fresh ingredients for these. But this, to me, sounds, smells like canned peaches. And the, that part, it kind of reminds me a little of all three of them when you smell it like it is. It, it, yeah. I mean, it could be the sugars. It could be the fact that you freeze dry the fruit and maybe the, there's a chemical difference in the freeze driving of uh, freeze driving the fruit. So, all right, number three. Yeah, I mean, this one, uh, this one, as far as trying all three without Sprite, this one is the, to me, this is the best one. Again, palettes are different. People have different, uh, different things they favor 
in whatever they have. I happen to like peach. I mean, adding like peach Schmanoff to iced tea is freaking phenomenal. Um, so this one off the back actually has the best taste, but again, it's not something that I'm just going to drink just like this. Because, I, again, I think it would be too much. I Just to me. You know, oh, oh, no. I had water. Yeah. I think, unfortunately, my mistake is the bubbles help. And the water just cut down the alcohol. They uh, cut down the sugars on it. So we're going to have to read it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it. In. It's like a blue book. We're gonna keep it in the video. So let's do this one more time. I pour some. I pour some fermented fruit from my homies. God, gotta love Thanksgiving. I don't have to be at work. All right, back to the sprite again. Just enough. Not a lot. You just want to break up the alcohol. Basically, when you. Sh when you make put alcohol in a shaker and you add your ice, you're basically adding water to it. And you're kind of loosening it up. You're, you're kind of making it a little lighter. And that's the same concept with the Sprite. We're just making this a little lighter. That's a little more palpable. Again, if you're using Sprite, you can, these are going to go a little farther. Because if you're making decent sized glasses, I mean, this is not going to last long. You're adding Sprite. Now you're cutting half the amount. That means you're doubling how many glasses you're going to get from that. All right. Number three, officially number three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one I really like. Almost almost like peaches and cream to me. Um yeah. So again, they they are very interesting products. Um and you can only really get them at um a couple different department stores i haven't looked up this company online and they only deliver to these department stores it was kind of why i was hesitant to pro to post these on instagram that i have them because you know i don't know if any competitors are looking at my stuff still and i don't want them to see stuff that i'm trying to promote personally i mean if they come across it naturally that's fine but if it, if i give them the ideas then i'm not helping myself um but yeah, uh, really, really interesting products. Uh, and there's there's so many variations of them. They had a blue dream, which I wish I still had. I kind of I bought an initial offering a bunch of this. I bought some ones that I ran out quick. Um, and then I haven't bought them yet. I think I'm going to buy, trying to get the whole flavor system in for New Year's and uh, Christmas. Because again, I mean, this makes it's almost like you don't have to be a bartender. Again, I would still suggest that you still need to add the Sprite. Uh, I think it's, I mean, if you want it, if you're into straight, strong cocktails, sure. But I think the Sprite helps it out. And again, makes it last a little longer. Now, um, I do sell these in my store for $11.99. So you still have to buy the alcohol. And, and I guess the other part of this is if you use a cheap alcohol, you're probably not going to get as better result. I use the mid-range ones. I'm not going to use Grey Goose and something like this because you know Grey Goose is a premium one. The premium ones you gotta you gotta give all the respect. I mean, again, I'm not saying that these things cheapen the vodka, but mid-range vodkas will be fine for this. I mean, Smirnoff's okay. Smirnoff technically is the best vodka in the world, um, but if you stepped it up a little above Smirnoff, it would be okay. Uh, personally, I think Rekka from Iceland would be perfect with this. Rekka is one of my all-time favorite vodkas. I've had so many people leave Grey Goose and stick with Rekka. Kettle One, Kettle One would be perfect with these. Um, and again, there's there's rum ones, there's tequila ones. So if you, if you want to get a chance, uh, the name of the website. It's not Hot Shots. I I put in uh, Cocktail Infusions Mixer New York. And I was able to find the website. Um, interesting, though, that these things have a uh, best before date. Um, so most of these are best before November of next year. So they do have a long shelf life. Now, one of the things they tell you with these, because this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to start to try to wrap it up, is, is you should refrigerate after adding alcohol. And it's best consumed within two weeks of infusion. 
Now, I, I would say, somebody said, well, I let mine go for three weeks. I, I don't think it's going to be bad. But if you're the type of person that are making these types of things, they, there's not going to be a lot left over. It really is. I, I didn't even get this already. Uh, I said this was B+. Plus. No, I said this was B. B? Uh, yeah, B. Yeah, no, B+. Plus. B. I'd give this one a, an A-. minus. Again, to have a perfect score for something that you just add alcohol, I think it's tough. Again, without the chases, without the juices to mix into it, um, I think it still takes some work. Um, also, in order to pro prove this, sure, I would do it as it originally calls for. Put it in another container and add some of the f add new fruit, fresh fruit into the new container and let that sit for another 24 hours. So now you, you're adding some natural juices into it. Um, and if you add enough, you you probably wouldn't need to. Although I think sometimes something that's a little light and bubbly goes down a little better. Um, but I think that's a way to improve this. It's, it's a great product. Uh, you know, the person who came up with this was, it was a great idea. It is, it is a great idea you know to, to, to come up with it uh, to do something on the fly if you, you're having some people over you make a couple of these and you do my variation again you make it the way it is you then you make it the way it is and then you put you add real fruit for the next 24 hours and I think it's I think it works perfectly I think that's the way to, to make this a little better. And again, you could still add club soda. I wouldn't add tonic water coffee because it, it, tonic water has got that quinine and it gives it a distinct taste. But well, with the gin ones, yes. I think the gin ones might work with a little tonic water. But club soda to keep the sugars down. Personally, I always like Sprite. I don't like to cut the sugars so much. Um, I like something that has a little has a little sweetness to it. That's just some of my own personal thing. Um, so really interesting. If I get a chance to do another video, I might do one with the rums. Um, and then do another one with the tequilas and do another one with the gins. The gins would be the last one. Gins are not a very prevalent thing for people. I mean, there's certain people that really love gins, but it's, it's a love-hate relationship. You either like gin or you don't. But I think vodkas are something that's more widely acceptable. Um, and then rum and tequila kind of fall behind that. Gins being in fourth of all of those. Um, so yeah, so really good products. I will continue to carry these throughout the year. Um, and, you know, if I see sales are still doing good, I, I probably will still keep them in stock um, through the beginning of next year. I don't like to keep stuff there forever. Certain things run its time, you know, like certain products you really like and you find out the store's stuck carrying it. You're like, what the? Things run its time. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I will say, really great job. I find the whole, this thing, <laughs> like, you're going to use this, and then you're going to have it upstairs. And like, how the hell could I use this again? I mean, really. Ma, ma, put, put one macaroni in. <laughs> Stupid. I don't got a buzz yet, but I'm only, I just opened these up. I, you know, I tried a little couple days before just a bit but I let them to I mean these have been done since Monday uh, this was done last night and again you only need about six hours uh, you can kind of rush it uh, the one thing I will say about doing that is um, when you first put it in there's still gonna be a lot of sugars so I think when I did these two every hour I just did this you know I did this to kind of break up so that the sugar would dissolve once the sugar's dissolved, it should be okay. Everything should be should work together. Um, again, yeah, re really good products. I'm actually glad glad that I brought these into my store. Um, and now I haven't had Thanksgiving yet. We're getting ready to, but I have probably have three days worth of stuff because you know some people still have to get up in the morning to go to work. So, uh, and this time of year, you can just keep it outside. That's the other thing about this that I was thinking of last night. I was like, oh, it's going to get too cold. No, because you're using straight booze. Now, with vodka, it's 80 proof. Vodka will not freeze. It'll get super cold. Now, if you get something that's 70 proof, if you do ones with the rums and the rum is 70 proof, you're going to get some coagulation. You're going to get a little. 
not a lot. So technically these could stay outside as long as it stays super cold. Obviously, you know, what it says is once you make it, you want to refrigerate it. I think the, the, the fruit would actually break down if you don't keep it cold. Obviously everything tastes better cold. Fantastic. So, $11.99, $11.99, $11.99 in my store. Add the spirit you want. Get some Sprite just in case or club soda just to give it some help. This is a great little Thanksgiving. This is the Liquor Legend. I haven't been on for a long time. We got some other videos coming soon. A lot of things uh, coming our way. Um, I actually have the new Vivas. We're going to be trying those pretty soon. So, Stay tuned. Stay thirsty. Liquor Legend out.